Hello everyone and welcome to HTML tutorial number 2 list tags and inserting images. Now as the title suggests, in this tutorial I'll be discussing the different types of lists and the tags used to make different types of lists and how can we insert images in our pages. Now at the end of this tutorial I'll also discuss some random tags and how they can be used to improve the appearance of our pages. Now I'll also like to recommend you to make a list of all the tags that I'm using. Uh, over time you have a tendency to forget them so if you make a list uh, of the tags and their attributes and the effects so it will be good for you now this is something that i left in the last class epsilon nbps semicolon now in this i'll discuss this first and then we'll move on to our topic for today so i have two sentences uh, this is part of epsilon nbps semicolon one two three four and in the second sentence instead of epsilon nbps semicolon i have put 10 15 random spaces now let us see what happens in the output so this is the output so if you consider the second sentence first so you can see uh, in my output between sparta and 1234 i have just one space now this is because html does not recognize uh, this 10 15 spaces in your notepad it will treat all these spaces are as one space now if you want more than one space between two words you have to use this epsilon nbps and a semicolon now you see here i have two spaces between I have two spaces between sparta and one two three four now this is because i have used a epsilon nbps semicolon there is an alternate uh, tag if you want to use it it's called the pre tag or pre formatted tag now this is pre opening and pre closing now i have used the same text one with the use of pre tag and one without the use of pre tag so let us see what is the output now this is the output page now again i'll i'm considering the second example first now i have not used break line at the end of each line so html naturally we have discussed this in the last class uh, the output does not change its line uh, just because uh, it is so in your notepad no it will not change because you are not using a break line tag also you can see i have put more than one space between both and space but html again treats it as one space now if you use a pre tag there are two effects it preserves all the white spaces and it does not cause line wrapping now white spaces are these you can see uh, as it as as many white spaces as you have put in your notepad now it will rec the html rec recognizes all the white spaces and also it does not cause line wrapping you can see you have uh, changed the line in your notepad after the text is in a fixed pitch so yes it will also preserve the line uh, you know it will not cause line wrapping now this appears in a different line in a, in your html so this is a basically use of pre formatted or pre tag now moving on to today's topic list in html we have three kinds of lists uh, this type of list is known as an unordered list this an ordered list and this is a definition list the main difference between an unordered and ordered list as the name suggests an unordered list all the entries are not numbered whereas in case of an ordered list all the entries are numbered so uh, these are the tags that are used to create a list now this is a new tag h1 tag and i also have a closing h1 tag now in uh, in in your books you must have noticed in different chapters you have topics then you have subtopics then you have sub subtopics now all the topics are of same size the subtopics are uh, of same size but they are smaller than that of topics now basically this tag is used to create that effect now i have used h1 here and i have h1 i have used h1 down here below and i have used h1 here so this results in this line this line and this line having similar font size now if i uh, the options that i have are h2 h3 h4 h5 now if i for example i use h3 and if i save it in dot html extension now when i refresh it i see the size of this line reduces but h3 corresponds to this size and this size only uh, now h1 is will give you the largest font size and it keeps on decreasing from h1 to h5 so uh, if you want your topics to have a same size you can use a h1 then if you want the subtopics to have same size you can use h2 and so on so moving on to list now uh, first we have an unordered list so uh, you can open an unordered list this is a ul tag so this is a unordered list and i have used type is equals to disk now uh, what are the options in type i can use disk i can use a square or i can use a circle 
Now I'll show you the difference. Now instead of disk, if I use a let's say square, and when I save it, now you see these are in a form of disk. But when I refresh it, you see these change to a square. You can also try circle. Now we have opened the unordered list. Now if you have to make an entry, list entry, so you just have to write li, and you have to write whatever it is, uh, whatever you have to write in an entry. Now there is no closing li tag. If you have to make a new entry, again use li tag and keep on until you have uh, submitted all the entries. And at the end, you have to close the unordered list. So this is basically all about unordered list. Now moving on to ordered list. For unordered list, I had a ul opening tag. For or similarly for ordered list, I have a ol opening tag. And in type, I have used one. Now the options I have is a small i. A capital I, a small A, and a capital A. These are the five different options for an ordered list. Now, this one gives me a decimal one, two, three, four as we keep on making entries. Now, this small I, this will give me the Roman uh, digits in small in small alphabets. Now, this capital I will give me again. It will give me Roman uh, digits in capital alphabets. Small A gives me small A B C D, and capital A gives me capital A B C D. Now, if I use A. And I save it. So this one, two, three. I have this one, two, three here. Now this changes to A, B, C. Now instead of let's say I use a small i, and I refresh it, you see I have the Roman digits one, two, three. So these are the five different options. Again, you have to make an entry. Use the li tag to make an entry. Uh, there is no closing li tag. And at the end, you have to close the ordered list with uh, this tag. This first entry you. Usain Bolt. If you want the number uh, before Usain Bolt to be four for some reason, so you can also define the value. And uh, let's say I write here four. So when I save it, you see this list now starts with four. Usain Bolt appears as four. Johan Blake as five, and Justin Gatlin as six. Now the third kind of list is a definition list. Now again, uh, definition is list when you have, when you write an entry and you have to define that term. Then we use a definition list. Now uh, we have a opening DL tag for a definition list. Now if, when you have to define when you have to make an entry, we use DD tag. Now and when you have to define that entry, we use a DD tag. So DT will give me this dollar and this DD. Which I have here. This will actually define currency of USA. This actually defines what is dollar. Yeah, you should close the definition uh, definition list also. Now uh, you can embed all these three lists inside each other. Now, uh, for example, this is not looking very attractive. If I want numbers before this, all the entry. If I want a number between uh, before dollar, rupee, and yuan. So I've opened a definition list. I'll open an ordered list. Type is equals to small a, and uh, this will be my first entry. This will be my second entry, and this will be my third entry. Now I'll save it. Find that this is my first entry, and the definition is USA. This is my second entry, and the definition is yuan, and this is my third entry, and this is the definition of yuan. So uh, this is all about list. Now moving on to images. Now this is how you insert an image in your web page. Suppose I want this image. This is the image that I use uh, as a watermark in my videos. I want to insert this image in my web page. So this is the tag used. IMG SRC. SRC stands for the source. And then I have to uh, I have to mention the uh, mention the folder in which the image lies. So I copy the location. I paste it here. Then I copy the name of the image, and then its extension .jpg. Now again, this is the location, this is the name, and this is the extension. And uh, I have to close this tag. And there is no closing image tag. Uh, again, this is a unordered, uh, unordered, uh, unpaired tag. Sorry. So then I save it. And you can see I have this image in my web page. So this is how you insert an image. Now uh, there are different attributes that I want to discuss with you. Uh, these are a few attributes. Now uh, first of all, uh, again uh, this is the output page. Now uh, what I've done here is uh, I've 
have this alignment. Uh, this is the first attribute. So uh, you can use the alignment. Then you can mention different height and width. If you want to alter the image's height and width, you can use. So you see, I've uh, I've used four different pairs of height and width over here, and the resulting are four different size of images. For alignment, you have these options: left, right, middle for absolute uh, middle, bottom is for uh, yeah, bottom of the page absolute middle is again for absolute middle a absolute bottom this is baseline this is text top now you can uh, you can try all these uh, yourself now this is a new tab even though I have written this in my note part you cannot see these lines in my web page now why is it so this tag is known as a comment tag now if you want to explain something in your code but you don't want that to appear in your web page so you use this tag it starts with a exclamation mark and then two dash and it ends with a two dash so this text though this is present in my notepad this will not appear on my web page now if you want to manually define the location of the image you can use this v space as well as h space now uh, for this image i have uh, used v space as 400 and h space as 200 so here is my image so this corresponds to a v space v space is the uh, space from the top of this uh, page and h space is a space from the left of the page now for example if i reduce this h space to say 100 and uh, i'll save it so you see the in uh, okay this is basically h space is from the right of the so this shifts towards right if i increase it to 300 so yeah it shifts towards the left of the page so now uh, i told you i'll discuss a few tags in the end so these are the tags and this is the outputs uh, i'll quickly uh, discuss which corresponds to which so this is a em which is known as an emphasized tag em and this is a closing of a em tag anything you will write between these opening and closing of em tags will appear emphasized for example you can see this text appears different from all the other text in the same sentence if you don't want to write uh, italics again and again you can use this em tag Again, there is a strong tag, uh, you know, this is kind of an alternate for bold tag. Then you have a DFN uh, tag. Uh, again, it's uh, pretty similar like the EM tag. Similarly, you have a VAR variable tag and a closing variable tag. So these are uh, pair tags and, uh, you know, they are, uh, you can say they are alternate for each other. You can use any of them. Now, there is a tag called KBD, which is known as a keyboard tag. Again, we have a closing KBD tag. This is also a pair tag. So uh, I've used this sentence select all by pressing control A. Now you want the user to think that you only have to press control A to select all. So this text appears different from all the other text in your sentence. So uh, the KBD is used for that. Uh, similar is a code tag. This is pretty similar to KBD tag. Now I have something called block code over here. Block code, opening block code and closing block code. Again this is a pair tag. Now what happens is when you are quoting someone, you uh, you know th this text, this actually is leaving a margin on the left as well as a right. It is kind of a center alignment, but if you don't want to write align equal to center and all, you can you know you can simply use this block quote. So uh, you know it leaves a small margin on the left as well as on the right. So this is all in this class, and uh, you can again you can subscribe to my channel. I'll keep you posted.